In this video, I want to talk about correlation. Now, correlation is something that you should already have met at GCSE. So here are three graphs, and I would anticipate that you would be able to say, this graph has positive correlation because we're starting in the bottom left and working our way to the top right. As one variable is increasing, the other is appearing to increase, and hence positive correlation. This is no correlation because the data is all over the place, and as one variable is increasing, it's not easy to see what's happening to the other variable. Okay. Um, with this one, negative correlation, we're starting the top left, working our way to the bottom right. As one variable is increasing, the other is decreasing. So that's what I would expect you to be able to do at this stage. Now, when we talk about correlation, what we mean is linear association. So what that means is that, um, first of all, association can be nonlinear. So how two variables are connected, it can be in a nonlinear form. It doesn't have to be in a linear form. Linear here, we're meaning a line. So correlation is talking solely about how close the data is to a straight line. Okay. So the closer it is to a straight line, the more uh, the stronger it is. And if it's in a perfect straight line, then we refer to that as perfect correlation. And so you can have perfect positive correlation if they're all in a neat straight line, and perfect negative correlation if they're all in a neat straight line. Okay. Now, uh, when we are talking about scatter graphs like this, um, what you should be on the lookout for is whether the data is roughly elliptical. Okay. So this data here is roughly elliptical because I can draw an ellipse around majority of the data like that. And likewise, this is also roughly elliptical. I can draw an ellipse around the data. Okay. Now, yeah, I could draw like one big ellipse going around this data. I, I know I could do that, but the data itself is not roughly elliptical. Now, what uh, that is often coming from, so when you plot uh, random on random, you often get this uh, elliptical shape. And that, consequently, uh, can mean that the data probably comes from a bivariate normal distribution. So we'll talk about that in a little bit more detail later. Now, the reason as to why you should be on the lookout for that is that that is often a precursor question um, to do with the validity of a PMCC hypothesis test. So um, as to whether um, actually performing that test would be valid or not. Okay, so when we get on to uh, the hypothesis test for the product moment correlation coefficient, um, then you are on the lookout uh, for whether the data is roughly elliptical. Okay, and that identifies a bivariate normal distribution, which is what you need for the test to be valid.